Hello and welcome to Free Excel tutorial videos. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can convert your pivot table into a standard list. Okay, now there might be a situation where there can be some Excel users who do not want or do not like to use the pivot table. You know, for example, uh, perhaps your coworker or maybe your client or your boss. And sometimes they just refuse to use the pivot table and they they like to use a standard list where they can perform filters or even subtotal. So now I have here a worksheet here. And what I want to achieve in this lesson is to first, I'm going to create a pivot table and I'm going to summarize the pivot table by years and months and then uh, I want to convert the pivot table into a list so that it can become a standard list which can be filtered and also be subtotal. Okay, so we have here the labels for this worksheet. We have the dates, we have the product, the unit, as well as the sales for the products. So I have here the uh, worksheet. And here with this data, so let us use the shortcut control N to see how many, how much data we have. So we have around 998 rows. It's not particularly huge, but also it's not a small data list. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do for this lesson now is to insert the pivot table. Okay. So with one cell selected in the data set, go to insert and select pivot table. Okay, I'm going to uh, place the pivot table in this worksheet and then click OK. So let me adjust this column. Okay, now let's see. I want the summary by year and months. So I'm going to come over here and click the date. Okay, and now I want this is and now the dates we have are all in uh, in days. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to create um, a summary for the dates. So I'm going to click any cell here, and I want to come over to the group field over here in the option tab for the pivot table tools. Come over to the group field, and I'm going to select years and months. Okay, and then I'm click OK. And now in the pivot table, we have the months and also the years. Okay, now what I want to do in order to see the data even more clearly is I want to change the layout of the pivot table. So at the design tab, okay, pivot table tools, design tab, come over to the report layout over here on the left. Okay, click on the arrow and let's choose to show in tabular form. Okay. So now we have two columns over here. We have the years and also the, the months. Okay. So now I'm going to add in the sales because we want a summary of that as well. So I'm going to click and we have here uh, the sales. And of course, we want to see the types of products as well. So now we have um, the years, the months, the product, as well as the sales. Okay. And now we want to be able to view the pivot table and have the product over here on the left. Okay, uh, so that it will be easier for us to look at the pivot table. So to change this, just come over here to this called this cell over here, and type in product, and click enter. Oops, yeah, mistake. So just come over here and type product. Okay. So now you see the product has been moved to the most left cell. Okay, let's expand this cell so that we can see the product nicely. Okay. And uh, 
now we want the years to be in the column labels. So let's come over here to the pivot table field list and we want the years here to be in the column label. So let's move it over here and there you go. Okay. So now our pivot table is almost done. Okay. But notice that here in this pivot table, there are some blank spaces over here. Okay. This is because there is no sales for this, for this um, particular date. So, uh, and that's not what I want because there should at least be a number, even if it's a zero, then we should have a zero over there so that it's not confusing. So to add a zero, let's go to the pivot table options and go to the uh, option here and click option. And for empty cells, show zero. Okay, click okay. So now we have zero in these cells, which were previously empty, okay? Okay, now remember that our objective is to make this summary and allow the user to be able to perform filter and even subtotals, okay? So we need to remove the subtotals and grand total. So we need to remove the subtotal, which is this one, as well as the grand total. Okay, so to do this, uh, we have to go to the pivot table, this, uh, tools design tab. Okay, let's come over here and come over to the left over here. We have the subtotal. Click on the drop down and select do not show subtotal. Okay, so now the subtotal is gone. As for the grand total, let's do the same. Come over here and select the first one off for rows and columns. So the grand total is also gone. And one more thing is here that we uh, we want to remove the fill header. So uh, let's go to the option and click here. This is a toggle on off. So we just select this one and you can see the, the, the header is removed. If you click, the header comes back, okay? So they are gone. And finally, let's remove the collapse and expand button, okay? We have this button over here. So we do not want it. We do not want this because there's only one product, right? So come over here to the option tab and remove this one. See, this is a toggle on off. Okay, so that's remove. And okay, so now we are ready. Okay, we have the pivot table that provides us with the information that we need. We have the years, okay, and also the months, okay? And what I want to do now is to make a copy of this pivot table, okay? With a cell selected in the pivot table, use the keyboard shortcut control A to select the entire pivot table. Right click of the mouse, copy, okay? And um, I'm going to paste special on a new worksheet, okay? Let's go to another worksheet over here. Come over here, right click and paste special, okay? Um, in the paste special menu, what we want is to paste the values only, okay? And then we click okay, all right? Okay. So now we have the, the data in a standard list, okay? So in the pivot table, we have cells that actually contains a contains a formula, okay? So when I paste special into the new worksheet, I have converted the data into values only, okay? So uh, a few more things here to do. Let's delete the header. This one, let's get rid of it. And let's add in the labels. Here is the product, system months. And let's apply the bold formatting. And um, okay, almost there, okay. Uh, we can also apply the formatting for the dollars over here. Okay, as well as over here. Okay, and I'm going to remove the decimals. Okay, so now we have blank spaces over here. Okay, and this is uh, not very nice. So, 
of course we can copy and paste copy and paste but what if we have a very huge data you know goes a thousand rows or you know 500 rows or 5000 rows so a better way to do this is by using the go to special function okay it's a it's a tool that excel provides so over here uh, at the home tab we have this find and select so if we click on the drop down we have a go to special okay so we can click this and in this dialog box what we want to do is select the blank cells only okay so click okay and now you see that we have the blank cells here uh, selected and uh, At this moment, we are in this active cell. I'm going to use a formula. I'm going to use equals and then use the up arrow. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm, want, I'm copying the cell above, okay? So I'm going to press Control Enter. And oops, I made a mistake. So what we want is uh, I'll do it again. So what we want here is uh, we we want to fill in the blanks, okay? So just now I, I copied all the cells down below. So what we want now is to go here, go to go to special and select the blanks only, okay? So now we have, you see this shaded, shaded area, okay? Okay, this one, they are shaded. So in the active cell, I'm going to use the formula, is equals and press the up arrow. And what I'm doing is I'm con I'm I'm copying the what the content on the cell above, and I want to apply this to all of the cells that is shaded over here. So to do that, use Control Enter. Okay. Now all the cells has been uh, uh, filled in with the data that is above the cells. Okay, but notice that. In here, here it's all formulas. Okay, so what we want is to for them to become values okay so come up here use the control shortcut con, uh, keyboard shortcut control shift uh, down arrow and we have selected the entire column and I'm going to copy this okay and then I'm going to right click again and paste special this time I'm going to paste them as values so now the formula is gone and now they are all values in this data set okay. so now I have a list that can be filtered okay uh, if you want to I can send this now to the client or to my uh, co-workers or my boss and they can use the filter in this data list okay they can come over to the data tab and they can just apply the filter and they will be able to see uh, the specific criteria that they want, you know, or perhaps they only want to see sales for two products, so they can do so. They can also choose the certain months that they want to see, like for instance, for June only, and maybe um, for May, you know, and Okay, so and that is how you can convert a pivot table, uh, a pivot table, and convert it into a standard list that can be used on uh, can be used as a, a normal filter or sub uh, the or you know for the user to use it uh, to subtotal or to use filter on. Okay, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.